I swear. I only bought two items. So, hello, and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is one of my older Dragon Con mugs. On the front, it shows the dragon with the Dragon Con. And on the back, it says Dragon Con Labor Day weekend, Atlanta, Georgia, which is where it's all at. It's a beautiful mug. We did get this at Dragon Con. I think this was one of the last Dragon Con mugs that they did. I think I have one other. I'm not sure. Everything's, everything's a mess, okay? <laughs> I have... You see all this stuff back here, well, most of it, but I also have like three shelves over here and everything over there is just like all packed up. So I think I have another Dragon Con, Con mug over there that may have been one, that may have been the last Dragon Con mug they did. And I think I also have a soup type Dragon mug, Dragon Con mug. Anyway, we got this at Dragon Con and um, we're getting ready for that again. We're getting ready for that again. So I had to bring out the mug. At any rate, in the Dragon Con mug that I've sat here and rambled about, we have two um, temples of the uh, traditional medicinals, organic moringa with spearmint and sage. One of the teas in my big old box over there. And um, since it was my big old box, I must have liked it, but let's go ahead and give it a sip so we can get started. I can smell the mint. I can smell a little bit of the sage too. It's pretty light and mild. The sugar is just right. Yay, for once. Anyway, it is pretty light and mild. I'm not really getting the spearmint much yet. Just a hint of that. And just a hint of the sage but by the time I get in uh, finish off the two chapters I'm reading tonight with this look uh, <laughs> I am sure that both of those will be fairly strong as you know in our last it's new will it do I did mention that I was interested in two items from the glam light fresh prints collection I did order them they came in this big adorable box I, I love this box this box is amazing. It's huge though. Uh, but, you know, when you get a box this size, it's quite possible that you think that you've gotten something more. Is it possible Glam Light sent some extra goodies? There's only one way to find out. If you're interested in what's in the box and in this look, which was made with the stuff in the box, just keep on watching. As I noted in my opening, this was not the box I was expecting. <laughs> no, seriously, this was not the box I was expecting. I only ordered two things, to my recollection. This box is huge for those two things, but I'm like, this one's a keeper. This is kind of a cool box to be, um, shipping the collection out in. This is really, really neat. Uh, but let's open it up and see the two things. You all know I got that palette because I mentioned I was getting the palette. We are, of course, <laughs> the inside has stuff. Lots of bubble wrap, which is nice. I'm gonna dig down. Well, there's only the two things. They made it look like it was more than that. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Anyway, but yes, only two things. So we're going to go ahead and get into our two things. I'm just um, a little overwhelmed at the size of the box. This is neat. I hope if people only ordered lipsticks, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of packaging, folks, to, to waste on, on a box, on, on two lipsticks. But, but this is this is very cool. This is this is. This is astonishing. This is, I have to keep this one. I don't know where to put it. Maybe I can, I know, I can probably put it up on back on my tees. What do you think? We'll put it back up on my tees. Because that's just, that's amazing. They sent along this neat little car that says boarding info, Philly LAX. 
Air Philly, Hollywood, Glam Light, and Fresh Prince. That's cute. Another card for keepers. I like to keep the cards. I wasn't planning to unbox this in front of you guys, but I had to show that box. All right, so I got two things. The first was the California Fresh Highlighter. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. No, really, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Ah, oh, it feels like a lot of it is packaging, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, yeah, a lot of it's packaging because that is it. Uh, I do think they could cut down a little bit on the packaging. I mean, that's a lot of trees and... and of course, the plastic isn't a good thing, but that is neat. That is neat packaging. I just think they could do it with less, if that makes sense. Less. Okay, so anyway, uh, there's the highlighter palette. California Fresh. Now, I told you when we were doing the It's New, I had to see some of these because one of the colors looked very kind of odd to me it looked a little on the dark side but now that I'm looking at the palette it's not it has a mirror yay mirror there's our shades this one in the middle in some of their photographs looks really deep they look sparkly interesting I've seen better, but that they also probably build up well. Yeah, the one I'm most impressed with is this one, which is kind of sad because I really like purple and the pink. I don't know if I would use for anything except maybe under the brow. I don't know if I've used. You know what? I have. I've mixed it with golds. I've mixed it with golds. So I've mixed the pink with pink with golds before, but I don't think I've ever worn it alone. I could see me possibly using it under the brow, especially since it's not especially since it's kind of on the sheerer side so um it would add sparkle to some of the matte uh, mattes that i use under my brows which is really nice and then of course as i mentioned this palette is just everything to me oh <laughs> the packaging this has uh you can feel this on the packaging for the palette it's like velour. I wonder if it's that way on the palette itself. That would be kind of cool. Now, I have seen this used and talked about, and apparently this is one of their better or best um, formulas. Yep, it's, oh, it's got that velour. This kind of stuff I can play with all day. This is just neat. Anyway, uh, 15 colors. Of course, it includes a mirror. Oh, these look so much better in real life. So much better in real life. Ugh. Their pictures just don't do these colors yet justice. That's gorgeous! Oh, man. I don't know what my cats are doing, but they're doing something. Wow! This is pretty. I don't even know what to... Well, since I know the color, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some. Let's, let's just, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do this pink. I'm going to do this purple. I'm going to do this green. I'm going to do this blue. Okay, that blue is amazing. Looks like it's almost a shifter. Almost looks like a shifter. Oh, 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 those are pretty. Those are pretty. All right, so obviously we are going to play with these today. So I'm going to go and get my face ready to play. Get my hair out of my eyes and all of that stuff. I don't know, folks. Lately, the, the bangs have been just a little bit uncooperative. It's probably time to trim them again. But at any rate, gonna go get my face ready and we will come back and we will play with this. I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Are you? <laughs> I saw this palette and went, that's right up my alley. And my daughter and I did have an argument. I said this was from the 80s. She said it was from the 90s. We're both right. 
in a way. It didn't premiere, Fresh Prince didn't premiere until 1990, but a lot of that 80s stuff was still in that early 90s, so this has still got that 80s mood, and um, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. These are these are colors right up my alley. Right up my alley. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to stop babbling. Uh, well, we got to do the other thing, right? Real quick. Oh, even the shimmers held up. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby. Yes. All right. Going to go. Going to go and do this. I'll be right back. All right. So we're ready to go. I've got brushes out. Done all the things. I've got a plan. Got a plan. Now, first thing I'm going to mention is that this is a beautiful palette, but it doesn't have one thing I need except in the shimmers, and that is really light mattes. I thought about using this one, but it is just a little, knowing Glam Lights formula and hearing that this is even better, one of their better ones, um, that's, that's going to be a too much. So I pulled out my Cosmic Brushes Delights, and we're going to start with this very pale pink under the brow. We're going to get rid of the cat hair on the brush because, you know, cats. <laughs> so this is going to go top down. Now, see, this is a very light pink. If I had started with that bright pink, could you imagine? Could you imagine? <laughs> this one is very nice and light. We're just going under the brow. Under the brow, under the brow. You don't need to get all the way into the crease. But I want everything up top and nice and... This is going to be so... So not the color scheme for what I'm, I'm getting ready for. Doing a reading. We are winding down on Assassin's Choice. I literally have three chapters left to read, and then I'm going to be moving on to another novel. That's nice. Okay. And bright pinks and purples, which is the plan for today, was n is not something I think of when I think of Assassin's Choice. I do need to pick up one more brush. So we're going to take our similar brush. Now we're going to use that pink. <laughs> So this is Bel Air. Bel Air is pink. And we're going to put that in the crease and move up. See, I told you, that is bright. Which is fine. I like brights. But for directly under my brow, I like things much lighter. And I'm going easy on this color. I'm trying to anyway. Because this color will... Um, I suspect just really walk. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. What I mean. There we go. Right on the outside. Nice and blue, smooth and blendable. We've got a nice gradient there. Moving on. All right. So I am actually going to use two shimmers and they're going to go across my lid. So I have to put my glitter glue across my entire lid this time. This is unusual for me. I usually put a mat on the end, but not this time. So this is the Moira Glitter Primer, which I do like better than the NYX. It's a rare thing for me to like something better than the NYX. But I think this one is stickier. So across. Come on, I don't need one big chunk there. I'm going to go all the way across. Get under there. Move it down. See how we're cooperating today. I'm getting a little bit of tiny hole on the inner corner, so hopefully it won't get too big. That inner corner on this eye is probably the most 
uncooperative. Although I've had moments when this eye has been like, no ma'am, no, <laughs> that's not happening today. Good luck trying it. All right. Clean off that brush for now. I did pull out one of my Luxie type brushes to test the inner corner in case we do fall apart. So we'll find out later. But in the meantime, I've got, you know, my usual. And I am going to take this color Love Hurts, putting on the inner and outer corner. And then I'm going to take this color Prince and put it across the middle. Kind of like a faux, what is it, cut crease? That, that's the thing that I kind of do, kind of. So. Give it a nice shake and go for Love Hurts. Oh, that's soft. That is so soft. Wow. All right, we're patting that in on the inner corner. There we are. She was taking some time to come up. But I am being careful with my application because I don't want to bring Whatever is going on in that very inner spot over. And we're going to go just under a third. We want to give that color prints a bit more space. Now, I rarely do them like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that outer corner. Um, I rarely do them like this. I usually like to go from a light inner corner and either a brighter or more medium um, middle of the lid and then a darker outer corner. We're going to give this a try. Okay. Any problems here are user generated at this point. Again, we're just doing the outer third. Just having a problem getting into this back end of my crease. There we go. I had to use my side, the side of my sponge tip to get in there. I feel like I'm not seeing it correctly because my lights are so bright, so it's hard to see it as if it's truly applying. But it's there. It's there. Get a little bit up top. Right underneath here. Okay, I think we're there. Like I said, any issues is probably user error. <laughs> or user being silly. Anyway, user thinking she's not seeing what she's seeing. There was a little extra on there that I wanted to make sure to get onto the eye. Okay, let's go ahead and get this other side. Hi. Spoosh. And we're going to cover that entire middle section with this color Prince right here, which looks like it might have a bit of a shift to it. Pink to purple. My lighting might be lying to me. It might just be the light purple I think it is. I initially thought it was. I am seeing a pink cast in there though, so. It's a pinky purple. Going slightly over the edge to kind of blend the two colors on the edges. Under there. That's pretty. Where they're blending in on the edges is actually kind of pretty. Where 
I'm getting them to cross over. Wow. I am not unhappy with this. That went on nice. Get a little bit more across this thing. So those colors are more blended. Not unhappy with that. All right, so we're gonna first use Born and Raised to do that that pointy thing I do, and then this is gonna go in our crease, and that color is Pool House will go in our crease. So, we're using this fluffier brush to grab some of this Born and Raised. Oof, oof. Wow, that came up beautifully. That just decided to show up. I'm gonna need a slightly smaller brush for down the side. This is a nice fluffy brush, but I'm gonna need something a little smaller to get in here if I don't want it to go everywhere. That, 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 that ended up being just a little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. I need to find a, I don't know what I need. Gonna use this really old Sephora brush. I actually really like this old Sephora brush. <laughs> they don't have this particular set in anymore, but we're gonna grab some more of that so we can go down in here. And we're gonna buff that all out. I just didn't wanna use that big thick brush and then end up with that color everywhere. So now I can very carefully use the edge of this brush, just this top edge bring the color down and buff out the edge without worrying too much about it literally going everywhere. Now that is nice where it has gone over the lighter um, cosmic shade. It is a bit lighter and then out on the edge where it is over the glam light shade, it's a bit darker. That's nice. These blended beautifully. So again, we got a beautiful shade gradient there. That is making me happy. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna use a pointy brush. Hope this purple is nice and dark the way it looks. Purples are kind of a problem. They can be hard to um, get the colors to look the way they do in the pan. A lot of times they come up very pinky. So let's hope that this does not come up pinky. Pool house, do not come up pink-ish. E. Oh, she's looking purple. She's looking purple. All right, so that's gonna go in the crease. This is a bit lighter of a color than I normally use in my crease. Oh, but she builds up. Wow. Okay, be careful. They build, baby. Buffing that out on the edge a little bit. Doing my little pointy thing, which generally tends to get covered up by my cat eye, but my eyeliner. I need I think, to bring this up just a little bit, just a little bit. There, now we got a bit more thing, a bit more thing. We got a bit more of a shadow that gives a definition. You can see how deep that hood goes. Mm -mm. Ah, hoods, the hoods. We're gonna take this brush and we are now gonna run it along this edge and blend these colors. Blend that purple, blend that pink. I thought I had all my brushes. 
that I needed. Okay, I think I want a still a slightly firmer line right in here. So I'm going to add just a little bit right in the crease. And we're not going to blend that out. With everything blended out already, we don't really need to. Nice dark faux cut crease. All right, so one more thing I'm going to do. Another floofy brush. Yes, another foofy brush. We're gonna take the Fresh Prince, um, we're gonna do what I said. We're gonna take this, we're gonna grab this purpley pink, and we're gonna put it over that matte that I started off with. And blend that all. That didn't take much at all. I might be wrong about these. That gave me a beautiful sheen. You guys may not see it, but I can see it here. That is a beautiful sheen. All right, folks, I'm going to go finish the other eye. That was quick, huh? I'm going to go finish the other eye, and then we will come back and talk about it all. Like usual. Well, I'll fill my, op fill my opening, and then my then we'll come back and talk about it all. And um, I'm going to go ahead and try this MBA. I do have something else from MBA we're going to try later, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm not going to show you me putting it on, but I will talk about it. Okay. All right. We will be back. As you can see, I've already put it in its place of honor. <laughs> it's on top of the T. Uh, I did move everything down just a little bit uh, right next to it. We have a dish cart where everybody stacks dirty dishes because the kitchen has no space for anything. So <laughs> my biggest fear was that people putting stuff up there wouldn't be paying attention and things would get wet. It can still probably get wet, but I've pulled it over this way as far as I can away from the dish cart because I really like that box and would like to keep it. I may end up having to move it around just to keep it safe. Anyway, so here's our look. Uh, my glasses do hide. <laughs> my under the lid uh, but uh, let me take a look and see if I have to do any repairing just a little bit I did have to do some repairing a little earlier and um, I was pleasantly surprised that enough of the product came up on a brush to actually repair holes to actually get in there and do the repair My hair's like, I want to be purple too. The holes aren't horrible. And there appears to be just a touch of staining on my lids, but it's not very dark. Not unexpected with most uh, brands, but let's go ahead and have you take a look at this before that what I just put in dies. The highlighter made a liar out of me. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I really like this look, but then I like purples. I think, I think I'm a purple girl. I like purples. I like burgundies too, but burgundies around your eyes can make you look like you're getting sick. So I try not to wear them around my eyes that much. The pinks could probably do that too, but with all the purple thrown in, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to go very quickly through the other things that we had first, and that is this lipstick, the MBA Cosmetic Lipsticks. This dried down pretty quickly, but it worked very well with my Lawnard Purple Gloss. Uh, it is a bit sticky with the gloss on it, but it dried down very quickly. I will say it lost some of that sh uh, uh, shine that I actually initially purchased it for, but the gloss helped out. And the gloss that I have is a really close color to this lipstick. It is very comfortable other than the slight stickiness and the fact that it's balling up a little bit here, but that's because I added the gloss and that's on me. That's not on the lipstick. I'm actually very pleased with the coverage. The highlighter palette. This made a liar out of me. 
<laughs> that's, that's a nice amount of shine. Now, to be honest, I did use this shade initially, uh, but it looked like looks like there's a little bit of green in this shade. Uh, let's put a little bit here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I was just imagining it, but there's a touch of green in there. So I threw some of the peach over it because I wanted more of a gold color to that highlighter and the whole thing made a liar out of me and I really like it, it's very pretty. So I think the palette has shot up to one of my favorite palettes. I love the bright colors, the, the whole thing is blendable, um, it blend, blended well with the cosmic brushes. My only complaint about it is that there are not shades that um, I can easily use under the brow. Uh, I did use this in my corner and down below, and then I went ahead and used these two purples from the middle and then in the back to keep that purpling thing going on. But I did use this in here, and um, I threw a little bit of this over the middle of the shades. But like I said, I think my, my only complaint is this is beautiful and bright and vibrant, but there's no real lighter colors to put under your brow. It's fine, it's just me, as I have plenty of light pinks and light purples and light greens and all of those. I have plenty of those to go ahead and add those as needed. This went on beautifully. And then the other thing I noticed when I switched tops is I had no fallout on my chest at all. Not even from the glitter, and normally I get a whole bunch, even my Nomad palettes, I will end up with glitter on my chest after working on um, a look on here. So it was really nice to uh, um, not have that problem. I mean, I clean it up, so it's not a big deal. And as my, my daughter says, I'm a glittery dragon cat. Anyway. <laughs> dragon cat fairy something because i just I, I enjoy glitter a lot um me and my middle daughter have a lot in common we like shine so she likes glittery shine too but um i really enjoyed the palette it really is a very good quality and the shades blended beautifully like i said there was no fallout so you want a bright palette but you don't want to worry about fallout this is one for you to think about picking up. The price was fairly decent. As I recall, it'll all be listed down below. And um, yeah, I'm very happy. I think this just became one of my favorite palettes to use because it is just, it, the whole thing went so quickly. I wasn't constantly having to repair. Yes, I did have a little bit of a hole develop. We all know I don't hold that against anybody. Uh, but uh, it didn't develop quickly. It took time, which could be partly my eyes behaving, but I think too, some of that is the formula. Uh, it's just that once a hole develops, it's really hard to keep it from not coming back. Uh, but it repaired easily. Everything it went on a brush to repair easily. So I am very, very happy with this purchase and this palette. I, I am very glad I picked these up. I will say uh, the one negative about the whole thing is that big, huge box. <laughs> that is a lot of excess packaging. Um, I get what they were going for, and I think it's really neat, and I'm glad I get to keep the box. But honestly, I think they should have they should use smaller packaging um, when there's only a few items. They could very easily come up with a box with the same kind of setup on it that's smaller for just two items because that's all I ordered and that's all I got. They didn't send any extra bonus anything. So um, it's a great box. I love it. I'm going to keep it back there as long as it doesn't get messed up. But I really think that that is the only complaint I have at this point with this release is that that box is just way too big for the two items they sent me and they should have um, poss possibly commissioned some smaller boxes for smaller orders. I think they were probably expecting a lot of people to just go for the whole collection, quite possibly. They've done very well with their um, collabs recently. Anyway, so you will have to let me know down below if you are planning to pick any of this collection up. Uh, are you now interested in this palette? Is it too bright for you? Are you interested in, look at that, are you interested in the fresh <laughs> uh, highlighter palette? You'll have to let me know all of that down below. If you don't want to tell me any of that, then just leave a purple heart. I love a purple heart. Dora purple heart. Purple is my color, particularly today, apparently. 
I am not unhappy with this at all. This all came out. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so that is it for the day. And I hope you will go ahead and do all the YouTube things and like and subscribe and share. Comment down below what you like about this palette. Like I said, it'll leave a purple heart. Let me know. We could use all the engagement to kind of bump us up in the algorithm and hopefully get some more subscribers and maybe a few more views. Hmm. Hmm. Some of my subscribers seem to be very busy lately. Where are y'all? I miss you. I want to see you back. I want to see you watching and commenting. We got things coming. We actually, I actually have something that I think is going to be pretty unique. I'm just working on getting better at it before I do it. Plus, I've determined that I need a different kind of setup to be able to actually show you what I'm doing. So we got do have new things coming. My husband doesn't want to commit. But supposedly we're going to be filming a food thing this weekend. Hope we'll see you there for that. Anyway, that is it for the day. Let's go ahead and sip our tea. It has been in here for 15 minutes at least. So let's go ahead and give this a sip and um, get on our way. Okay, so the scent of that mint has mellowed out considerably. I did put in two tea bags because I wasn't sure. I thought the traditional medicinals was one of the um, brands that while I liked it, much like Stash, it needs double bagging to get the full flavor. So let's see what has happened in the last 10 minutes. Huh? Okay. I'm definitely getting more of both. They are both a very light and delicate flavor. I think I like it that finish off any more that I might have in my tea box over there, my tea storage container over there. Uh, but I don't think this is something I would repurchase at this point. Who knows? Maybe when I'm doing my readings, it'll get strong enough that I'll go, oh, okay, maybe I'll do that. But 15 minutes should have been plenty of time. Oh, it says tea for 10 to 15 minutes. So it's going to get stronger. So we'll see by the end of the two readings I have planned. Anyway, that is it. I love my girls. I love my dragonettes. I hope you have a good one.